Why? Why you need to stop doing like this on your food and how? Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, hey, welcome to this new channel. Actually, if this is the first time you're clicking my video, please smash that subscribe button and also hit the bell for you to always get notified every other time I upload a new video. You don't gonna want to miss this. And today I actually decided to talk about salt. Yes, I actually decided to talk about salt. This is the normal white salt that we always use. I actually decided to talk about this salt and I didn't decide to talk about this salt because what it does, it, I'm talking about this salt in this matter. When you take a pinch of salt, when you do like this, I'm going to tell you about sprinkling excess salt on your food because this is a habit that so many of us do and when you start doing it it's not easy to stop but then today I'm going to tell you what you can do I'm going to tell you how you ended up becoming a salt addict and why why you need to stop doing like this on your food and how you can reach to that point that you're saying I'm no longer adding excess salt on my food so stick around and watch this video despite the fact that my drive to shooting this video is a sad story because I actually lost a neighbor who was a friend, who was a buddy, because of this behavior. I lost a buddy because of this behavior. Yes, watch out why you need to stop today. And so guys, today the reason as to why I decided to talk about salt is because around two days ago I actually lost a friend who was my neighbor, like my closest neighbor who was also a friend. And it was like someone I could call a buddy because of salt. It's actually salt that led to his death. And I'll tell you how. Do you know where the journey, the long journey starts, like the long struggle starts or where the health problem journey starts? It starts when you start doing like this. When you're served with food, then you take this, you take a pinch of salt and you do like this on your food. That is where it starts. It becomes a habit. You're served with food today. I don't have a problem with you adding thin salt in your food, but then I have a problem of you adding salt each and every day in your food because it is not right. Actually, when you add salt in your food for the first time, you'll be attempted, you'll be tempted to add again on the second day, on the third day, on the fourth day, until it becomes a habit. That is now where the problem starts. Actually, sprinkling extra salt on cooked food only invites health problems instead of any good benefits. When the salt is cooked, let me tell you one reality. When the salt is cooked, the iron structure is simplified and it becomes easier for the gut to absorb. But in case of an uncooked salt, the iron structure remains the same and it increases the pressure, resulting in high blood pressure and hypertension. Many times, or actually, in the present world, like the way we used to live, we used to know that these diseases like high blood pressure, I don't know, hypertension, these, those diseases were used, they were associated with rich people with money but then nowadays even the poor people let me say the poor people in the society now suffer from hypertension they have blood pressure they have stomach ulcers they have diabetes and you know they are actually as a result of excessive consumption of salt it is not a struggle to start using salt 
it is never a struggle like it is something that you are born and you form a habit but then there is a way you can do you can think out of this excessive use of salt is bad for your health it causes you no good but does all the harm i'm a sad person today as i'm seated here because my friend my buddy my neighbor my closest person i lost him yesterday the other just the other day and will actually bury him tomorrow it's so sad to realize that he got high blood pressure because of salt when i visited him at the hospital and i asked the doctor what killed my friend the doctor simply told me that your friend had hypertension and blood pressure and i asked but how how possible is that and he told me that he used to really consume a lot of salt you don't consume a lot of salt you can't cook your food with a lot of salt that is the first fact and if it happens that you have cooked your food with a lot of salt it happened by accident the problem where the problem where it starts or where where the big challenge comes in is when you start doing this taking salt sprinkling it this behavior should actually stop if you stop sprinkling extra salt on your food you'll be saving your life it's really really important for you to stop doing this because it does more harm than good it does you no good it does you all the harm so guys i know it can be really a struggle to stop it once but then wait let's see guys in case you're obsessed about having an extra pinch of salt in your food each and every day because when you form a habit i know it is so hard to stop it's addictive switch to a certain type of salt called sendana mark or rock salt as it's not those types of salts they're not processed and experts feel that it is it is way healthier than common white salt but this common white salt i tell you it's not good if you consume excess but you're supposed to always consume salt from now onwards stop i say and i say it again stop sprinkling extra salt on the dish but never cut short of salt from your diet it's all about the perfect pinch of salt to relish the flavor of your life but then stop sprinkling extra salt on your food learn to eat food with cooked salt inside try as much as possible to start step by step it's a step process if you so can you'll thank me later please if you're new in this channel smash that subscribe button and also hit that bell this one in this video i've actually shared just my personal thoughts about salt from the research i've done since i lost my friend my body i decided to do a video for you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've learned if you are new remember to subscribe and also hit the bell give me a big thumbs up for this video what are you waiting for until next time goodbye stay safe stay sane stay positive i love you Mwah.